welcome back to my channel. How is everyone? I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and New Year and is feeling motivated and ready for a new... Do you know what? Even if you're not motivated and ready for a new year, that's fine. Don't feel the pressure. I'm just going to take back what I said. Don't feel the pressure to have like a perfect new year. I definitely didn't. We actually missed the countdown. <laughs> we were like, we went to see my family because obviously, you know, you girls not really uh, going on nights out these days. Um, so we were just with my family up the road and we were watching Jules Holland, but we were watching it on iPlayers and catch up. So Jay was like waiting for the countdown <laughs> and we were watching the clock on Jules Holland and then Jay's phone went to like midnight and he was like, happy new year! And we were like, no, what are you on about? Like it's not even on the countdown on Jules Holland yet. And he, and he was like, no, it's midnight, it's midnight. And then my cousin Em was like, no, it is actually midnight. So anyway, that was quite funny. And then, so basically I've been working every single day from 29th till my first day off is the third of january so i didn't have like you know the first of january to like do all loads of stuff and be all new uh, reset for a new year but you know what like it doesn't have to be done on the first of january you can reset halfway through the year if you want to i've been on the early shift though which is really good because it means i finish at half two every day which means that i've been trying to get through stuff so 2023 for me and jay is the year that we become parents insane like we're not ready, we're excited, we can't wait, but we're also just so not ready, like it's... I mean, how can you ever be ready? Do you know what I mean? How can you? Anyway, so it's a huge year for us <laughs> and it is a huge motivation for getting everything sorted. Like, we are both in full nesting mode. Both of us are just obsessively in nesting mode, which is a good thing. So our aim is to just have everything done by February, hopefully halfway through February, and then we have like February and March to just kind of like do bits and bobs. Jay's not here, obviously he's, you, know, you guys know he's an actor. If you're just coming across this channel by the way, hello I'm Tanya, nice to meet you, it's so lovely to have you here, I hope you stay. Um, I am, the content that I make is lifestyle, that's really what I do. I love homemaking, I love being at home and having like cozy days and making my life cozy and organizing and cooking and baking and just romanticizing my life and slow living. Um, I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant and my partner Jay, he is an actor, which is what I was just about to say. He's always on tour, so he's on tour for February and March. So, we need to get all the big stuff done in January while he's here because obviously I can't really do a lot these days. Like I'm fine, I'm active, but I'm not allowed to lift and pull and things like that. So, sorry, this is a really long intro, but I'm just like, Ugh. guys, I've missed you. I, yeah, I've missed you. I feel like I was actually quite consistent in December though, like more consistent than I was expecting to achieve, but I have missed you and yeah, so, this video is going to be a 2023 reset. We're sorting out all the rooms in the house. It's not going to be like a completely finished product because like I said, we haven't really got the time and there's a lot we want to do um, to each room in the house. There's something we want to do in every room. So it's going to take time, but that's fine. We are starting strong. So yeah, like I was saying, every day after work, we've been getting stuff done, like trying to do like yesterday I sorted out all of our paperwork like bills and like my birth certificate and stuff they just weren't in like a folder so I like made folders for us but things like that like just like admin kind of jobs that you just kind of let pile up but like once you sort it's so much easier to go forward because it's just organized so we've been doing stuff like that um all of our Christmas decorations are here they are pretty much packed up and ready to go. I just have like a few um, like textiles, like blankets and bits like that, that I haven't, that are still drying to, um, before everything goes in the, in the loft. But I think everything's gonna go in the loft today. So that's good. I'm gonna go and get my, I'm gonna go and get my um, notebook with my list on it and show you like how we've been getting on so far. 
So I hope that you can see this, but pretty much everything on here is Christmas undecorating. And as you can see, pretty much everything is ticked. And then we've got like some jobs that we wanna do, um, some decluttering that I need to do, and then just some random jobs. Um, so we're just working through this at the moment. We've been working through this over the past few days and it's been going really well. I just feel like I'm feeling motivated and I'm feeling like I'm not putting pressure on myself. Like we've got the whole of January, you know? Something small can be done every day. And yeah, Jay's actually really poorly today, like really poorly and he goes back to work tomorrow. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I haven't spoke to him because I started work, pardon me, so I'd work at six. Um, but I'm actually just on my lunch break, so I've got half an hour, so I'm gonna go downstairs and see him. Um, but I'm assuming he's not gonna get anything done today because he needs to rest because he goes back to work tomorrow and obviously his work is very active. So, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do this video. I don't know if I'm just gonna like take you around with, with me, show you each room, should tell you the things that I wanna do, or just gonna do lots of montages. I'm not quite sure, but I just wanted to make a video to say hi, say happy new year, and yes, just kind of like reset together. So we're gonna start with me talking you through the office situation, which looks insane, but I'm, I'm not feeling too stressed about it. So basically I don't have, since I, sorry, keep hiccuping. <laughs> since I downsized my desk, I don't have anywhere to get ready. Um, and if I have all my stuff in drawers in the bedroom, I just have to get it all out again to get ready. So this is like my stuff that I, yeah, this is like my toiletries and hair and makeup and pregnancy vitamins and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna take all these bits off this board and put them in my, I've got like a keepsakes folder now with like memories, which I think maybe eventually I'll scrapbook. Um, but yeah, for now I'm gonna empty this board. This is the shelf from upstairs. I don't quite know what's gonna go on with this, but these are my Christmas presents. And I desperately, desperately want to get them all out and look at them because I haven't looked at them since Christmas and I want to use them and I want to just, you know, be excited, but I just haven't done that. These books were all on the bookcase that was here. Um, this is my, this is obviously my work area. So I've got to go back to work in 10 minutes. Um, and this is all Christmas stuff. Um, not this um and not this either <laughs> but this is all christmas stuff and this is all packed up um i just like i said need to finish packing up like the textiles um but that's all sorted so i'm feeling good about that this area i need to <laughs> Um, really just like fold bits and put them away and just tidy um, this stuff is drying I actually think this might be dry now yeah it's actually dry so this can go in my textiles bag to go in the loft and then I don't quite know why the washing basket isn't there but it's not so our washing is there great um, <laughs> eventually we want to get some new drawers for here for Jay's clothes because these just as you can see are falling apart and we also want a new TV that's really important because when we're in the newborn stage we need a TV in our room um the wardrobe I'll talk to you about in a second and then over here so you know I was saying I don't have somewhere to get ready my plan is to create like a get ready station here so I'm gonna get some sort of um like slim dressing table or something here and then have like makeup hair stuff and a little stool mirror on the wall so that's like my getting ready station that's my plan so all the stuff in these drawers um needs to go into my wardrobe need to take the christmas bedding off and wash the christmas bedding and put the christmas bedding in the loft um and this is obviously jay's little area i think he's gonna keep it like this but currently this is all my stuff so this currently all has like my makeup in it but not the makeup that i use every day because that's all in the office but yeah i need to clear these all out because this is all my stuff so the way i'm gonna make it work is this is an ikea pax wardrobe and I don't know if you'll remember if you'd have seen it before, but I used to have a rail, like there was a shelf here and then there was a rail that you hang trousers on. So I took the rail out, oh, guys, oh my God. I took the rail out and I moved the shelf right to the bottom and I'm gonna buy from Ikea, I think 
two more shelves. I was gonna do just one, but I think two might be better because then I can cut off there and then I'll have space and then space. So all my clothes are currently just shoved like this. Um, and then all the clothes that are in these drawers also need to go into this shovedness so that I can create space for my dressing table. But I think, so I think one of the big jobs is to go through all of this, do some decluttering, because there's lots of stuff here that I didn't get rid of last year because I was like, no, I'll wear it next year and I still haven't worn. So I think I might just, yeah, do some decluttering and then organize it into piles and then order the shelves from ikea so there is that job in the bathroom i really want to get some kind of storage for here um with doors on it so that it doesn't look like this so that i can have like different baskets with like different like skincare and like shower gels and different bits like that um i don't know whether to go for just like an ikea sleek white situation or like a bit more of like a funkier one from like Dunelm or something like that not sure but that is the plan um just to create a better organization system because this obviously isn't working my lovely friend abby who's also my supervisor she just let me go half an hour early because she's like you've worked all weekend so it's it's like totally dead today she's like just take it um go home half an hour early so i'm finished it's two i think the best place to get started is the wardrobe because if I can like pile the clothes up correctly in the wardrobe, then I can put the clothes that are in the drawers in the wardrobe. Then I can put all the makeup bits that are in that corner in the drawers and maybe like try and sort this room out. So I think that's a good place to start. So that's what I'm going to do. Put a jumper on because this house is absolutely freezing. We've got boiler problems. So the boiler basically just keeps going constantly and the guy came, was he the plumber? I'm assuming the plumber the boiler man he came and there's like a certain part that he needs to get but obviously it's like new year's weekend and bank holiday so we haven't got the part yet um and jay is managing to turn it back on but it literally comes on for like half an hour and then dies again so it's freezing you don't need to know that so wardrobe <laughs> this is my situation i'm thinking the only logical thing i can think of is take everything out and just dump it on the bed and then go through it and try and declutter and then organize. As you can see, jumpers and fleeces takes up so much space. So realistically, even if I've got another shelf, I'm not gonna have enough space for like all the clothes that I've got. So my solution is to use this bottom bit as well. Um, maybe I can use this bottom bit for 
jumpers and hoodies and fleeces that I don't really wear that often but like I don't want to get rid of because they're so good for like so for example if we go camping this and this is my dad's old fleece which obviously I'll never get rid of and like this is like autumn autumn clothing so like I do you know what I mean? That can go at the back, so I won't need that for another year. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... The, the shoes that I use, like, every day, I can keep, like, downstairs in the hallway shoe closet. And then anything extra can go up there with my other shoes. And then I'll make some space and I'll put all my bags that are here up there. Um, and then use this bottom shelf. And then I'll have space for, like, clothes. And then clothes is my plan. So the light is gone and it's because basically in a nutshell jay <laughs> used was using a saw and he sliced his finger open really deep on his knuckle so and he's really ill so i was like let me go out and get you some stuff so i went out and got him some like plasters and antiseptic wipes and bandage and stuff and made us some lunch when i got back we ate the lunch it's now 4 p.m and it's pitch black outside so I'd love to wait and then resume filming tomorrow so that the lighting's good, but realistically, my room <laughs> looks like a bomb's hit it, so I've got to just get it done. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the bottom shelf um, where the shoes have been. I actually haven't had loads of shoes down there, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then put all the, like, jacket... Um, cardigans and not cardigans jumpers and fleeces that i wouldn't reach for on a daily basis all at the bottom and then go from there with working out what i'm gonna do i'm not sure for like actual like when i have the shelf i don't know whether to do shelf dividers or to do like separate boxes for each thing i'm not sure what will work best i feel like dividers might be a better shout um because it means i don't have to i don't I won't outgrow the space as easily as I would if I'm using boxes. Um, but we shall see. We'll see what works. I feel like I'm not going to really know that until I get my shelves. Um, but this is just to like... This is so that now I can make it less overwhelming for when my shelves do get here. Anyway. So we're going to clean the bottom. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm not going to do like a montage of all of this filming all of this um folding and putting away and stuff purely just because the lighting's not very good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do it and then i'm gonna show you what i've done talk you through it and then we will continue with this video probably tomorrow when we've got better lighting good morning i definitely don't look as cute as i looked yesterday but we are on day two and i've got the whole day off today so hopefully we're gonna get a lot more done i'm starting with swapping all the stuff that's in my alex drawers by jay's side of the bed so i have like hair makeup skincare jewelry bits like that i'm gonna put them all in my alex drawers by my side of the bed free up some space for jay and that just makes my life easier for when i do order my dressing table then it can all kind of be dispersed into there the dressing table that i'm thinking of getting is going to be a lot smaller so i'm going to have to downsize so i'm thinking maybe i'll declutter my makeup as well now because i just don't have space for it basically i've actually ended up with more mess than there was yesterday <laughs> but that's fine we, it's not impossible to sort out there's just a lot of like messy areas <laughs> Alex drawers I used to have two drawers one with like stuff that I use every day and then like extra bits that aren't every day but like I still want to keep because they're for like different looks 
Um, but I don't have the space to do that. So, as in, I don't have the space in this, and then I'm definitely not going to have the space when I have my desk, because I'm literally just going to have, like, a drawer like this. And instead of it being this way, it's going to be this way, but it's literally going to be the same length. So I'm going to have to just put my makeup in one drawer. So these are, like, my everyday bits. Um, I like to get samples a lot of the time more than a full size because it's just so much cheaper and I don't wear makeup every day so it's actually it works out for me better value for money if I get like s travel size um, of like nice expensive products and then I use them like whenever I'm like going out um, yeah so this is face this is eyes and brows this is lips this is also face but like powders highlight bronzer and then this is all like brushes and then like tools so like tweezers um bits like that nail like not nail varnish um what's it called uh these sharpeners sharpeners for like lip liners and that um so yeah these are like my everyday bits and then i've also got this stuff which was in obviously a second drawer but i now don't have a second drawer so i'm not quite sure what to do um this is eye products that i don't use every day because obviously they're like you know there's a lot of like shimmers glitters it's very rare that i would ever use this but like i do love a festival although let's be honest i am about to have a baby so um the amount of festivals that i will be attending is probably gonna lessen but like you know i still i feel like i just like all this stuff i want to keep it because there will be times in life like halloween and stuff like that where i want to do glitter um, these are all lip products that I don't reach for every day. So there's, why is there so many red lip liners? Like, what, what person needs this many red lip liners? Am I okay? Bear in mind, I only, only ever wear a red lip at Christmas time. Genuinely. Like, this is, this is just not, like, this is not minimalist living. I have no excuse to have this many things. Like, these are some of my favourite glosses, by the way. The NYX Fillet Instinct, because they like lip plumping. They're so nice. Um, yeah, these are all, like, more, like, pink, brown um, lip liners. And, yeah, lipsticks that I just don't reach for every day, basically. But I still want to keep, because at some point, I'm sure I will want them. I'm really not sure I need this many red lip liners. Like... Maybe I should try and declutter some of this. Anyway, so we've got the lip products that I don't wear every day, but still want to keep. And then I've got some palettes. Again, I don't have a lot. I just have three. So I have this little mini one. I love it. I absolutely love this burgundy colour in the middle. It's so nice. And I always take this, like, if I'm going away, because it's just small. Um, and then I've got my Natasha Denona, which is, like, my... This is, like, my... Um, I wear this kind of every day, but this is like, you know, more neutral tones. And then I've got this ABH one, which you've seen a million times. But this is my bold one. Again, for like festivals and Halloween and things like that, these colours are all amazing. So, I mean, I don't need any more. Like, I feel like this is actually, compared to a lot of people, this is very minimalist. Um, but it's not really minimalist enough because I need to all fit in one drawer. I've also got these gems, which again, so good for like fancy dress or whatever. And then I've got this little thing, which is nail stuff. This is like nail varnish remover and then some nail varnish. I don't have a lot because I always get my nails done and I get my toes done as well. But it's nice to just have. So I'm not quite sure what to do with this stuff because I feel like I, I was going to declutter, but I don't really actually, I'm going to get rid of this because this is old. And I'm going to get rid of this because it's the worst powder you've ever used in your life. Like, do not buy it. It's awful. Um, but apart from that, blusher, I feel like I really like these. Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of the, rid of the, I'm going to get rid of these highlighters because these are like four years old and obviously makeup is, you know. Um, I feel like these are cute. You never know when you might want to do a little liquid highlight situation. This blusher is really nice. This hula like let's get rid of that that's gross um and then this is like a really old moisturizer this is actually so old what's the date on this oh there isn't a date on it but it is this is like three years old and it's a moisturizer so maybe i need to get rid of that actually do you know what it's not i always forget it's not it's got something in it it's got purple sequins in it it's like the purple version of these but i think i gave jay a little 
one of these pots. Anyway, whatever, the point is not getting rid of them because you never know when you might want some purple sequins. Okay, so I just emptied my underwear out of the top drawer and I am just gonna put it in my wardrobe and somehow s try and survive. I'm just, I so want just everything in my life to feel finally organized. Like, I know I do this all the time, but like, it's honestly trial and error. Homemaking is Tetris and trial and error. Um, but yeah, so I just moved all my everyday stuff up here and then this is all my excess makeup. So I didn't show you this yesterday because it got dark, but I've just added my underwear, which I can. Normally I like to have it all separately or like my, I have my non underwear like neatly rolled up in like separate sections and then my socks in a separate drawer. So the fact that it's all jumbled in together is a bit stressful, but like I said, hopefully my shelves will come soon. So I've done down here, like at the back is like the autumn clothes and my painting clothes and then we've got like jumpers and fleeces and then I'm probably going to end up putting like joggers down here but for the moment we've got tops and I've done it so that like these are all summer tops so I'm not going to touch these anytime soon and these are non-season specific tops and then these are all jumpsuits and then I've got these are all dresses um short these are our pants but these are probably going to go down here with the joggers when i've got like another shelf or two shelves um skirts leggings these are all pjs and then t-shirts i did have all gym stuff there but i think the gym stuff is going to just go on top of my t-shirts for now that works and then obviously underwear so this is what it is for now and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely get two more shelves because I was thinking about one or two. So I'm going to do one like directly under all my jackets just to block it off. Then I'm going to do another one. I've got all these bags and shoes that I pulled out from underneath the wardrobe and then these this is my shoe section up there it's a total mess but i need i'm not allowed to stand on the ladder because it's really wobbly and obviously your girl is carrying a tiny human so i need to wait for jay to help me do that but that's fine for now <laughs> Okay, this is where we're at with the bedroom. I've cleaned, like properly cleaned all the sides um, and rearranged everything in the drawers. This stuff just needs to go in its place and then I'm gonna do clean bedding and hoover this room. But I think I'm gonna move out and carry on in the rest of the house and then come back to this. I think this area is where I need to focus on. This is all washing that needs organizing and then I need to sort out my linen shelf because clearly, yeah, it's just not a vibe. On this shelf there is a pumpkin, a urine sample tube, a satsuma, a hot pack, none of which are relevant to the laundry. Also, this pot of lat flow tests. Do we still 
need them. Like, let's be honest, when was the last time any of us did a lap flow? To be honest, actually, maybe if I was still working in the care home, I would still need to do them, but... Yeah, no, because when you get COVID and you, when you don't, when you're not sure if you've got COVID, you've got a test, don't you? So we're gonna have to keep them, but maybe not with the linen stuff. It's insane how much stuff piles up if you don't keep on top of it. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna cope with a baby as well, because staying on top of mine and Jay's mess is, is hard enough. It's not even 3 p.m. and it's pitch black outside. Honestly, I can't cope with the it getting dark so early. I haven't even had my lunch yet, which is my next job. I'm going to go and do that now. But this is what my linen area is looking like now. So I've got duvet sets. This is ones that I really like and I want us to use on our bed. And then this is like spare ones um, because we always have people coming and staying. Like every couple months there's people staying. So more clean bedding. And then this is sheets and spare pillowcases, again, for people who are staying. And then this is towels. And this is towels. I can't get my um, label maker, I can't get the tape to go feed through. So I can't print um, towels, which is really annoying. Um, I've put the lap flows down here. I think they should go in the bathroom. But obviously, I need to get a cupboard for the bathroom. Um, in here we've got the iron and then in here I'm going to keep our fabric spray that we use like, on the bed. Um, so I'm happy with this one. Okay, we're now on day three of reset and I wanted to show you downstairs because Jay's actually been the one who's been sorting downstairs. Um, but I have washed the sofa cover so I'm going to pop that on the sofa. Then this needs some sorting out. It's just so horrible to look at. Um, I want to get some white folders this stuff to match this is the bookcase that I've been talking about um, this is not gonna be how it is because it's not gonna have bottles on it and stuff but um, basically we've just organized started organizing our stuff a bit better um, so yeah eventually like this is where everything will live and I want Jay to move this to the side so we can put this plant in the corner um, and then everything here is very clear well this is all clean washing it just needs to go upstairs and this spa car I don't know if you'll remember but basically I ordered it and it came with it was supposed to have two of these panels um, but one was smashed so I called Asda and they gave me a refund but they were like we don't want you to return it so me and Jay couldn't work out how to return it so he was like I'll build it for the Christmas period so we had it here with bottles on it for the Christmas period and now um, we're gonna get rid of it um, and then the kitchen uh, this needs I mean, it's very clean but it needs a declutter like it needs um i need to go on top of the cupboards and i need to go inside the cupboard so i think i might do that i actually might do that today but potentially it'll be a separate video because i don't know how long it's going to take me um but yeah this is the mission for today real one from the jump start gotta watch step on a tightrope i never fall off this light work lord knows it's god's way Permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way, my way, my way. Your hips on the move, only a real one can do what you do. I caught a body, but you was the shooter. Damn. Shot me down one time, one time. Wanna hug me down a long time. Hello. So 
I went into town because I was like, I'm going to need some storage stuff. I ended up buying a big tall storage cupboard for the bathroom because I just, I want to get that done so badly. Um, so I think, well, basically I'm halfway through decluttering the kitchen. Um, is that even an accurate representation? Let me turn it around so you can really see what is going on in here. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot, but I'm honestly making so much progress though, so that's good. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include my kitchen decluttering in this video or it's gonna be its own separate video. The only reason for that is because I've done a lot of organizing in this video, so I feel like it's gonna be a lot of montages and um, I just don't want the video to be too long. When I come to edit, I'll check. I have to go and pick up my bathroom cabinet after four from Argos, so I'm gonna go and do that um, and then hopefully I'll be able to put it up by myself. January is the month of getting shit done. Anyway, I've had my Cheerios. I'm gonna go and carry on with the kitchen now because as you just saw, it's a state and it's about half past one at the moment. So I wanna get it all done and then move on to some more stuff before I go and pick up my cupboard. Friends, the bathroom cabinet is secured and Am I all right? Like, why did I just go to Argos to get a bathroom cabinet when I'm 20, like I'm nearly 27 weeks pregnant? Who does that? Thank God for nice kind people who offer to carry things for you when you're pregnant because that was so stupid. Oh well, I, I I can't help it. I just need, I need everything sorted. I need everything sorted. So I'm gonna finish doing the kitchen. And then I'm not, I can't carry that box upstairs. It's not fair on the baby. So I'm gonna have to take all the bits out, have a look at it down here. And then maybe Jay's gonna have to build it. So we're not gonna be able to do it in this video, but we shall see. I'm gonna carry on with my, my doing the kitchen. That's what I was gonna say. Actually, I need to make some food. Food probably first. Cause it's literally like half three. And I haven't had any lunch. Okay guys, so yesterday after work, I built this masterpiece and I'm very proud of it. And before I go to work today, I'm gonna try and organize it. So I bought these little things off of Wilco, off of Wilco, in Wilco, um, and they fit perfectly. So yeah, there's three shelves in here and then there's three shelves in here. So I'm gonna try and categorize um, have like six different categories or um, maybe I want to do one shelf that's got like Not a box in it, but we'll see but yeah, this is like this is like my final piece of Home organization and I'm really excited about it guys. I Just dropped the first aid <laughs> For fuck's sake Okay, so I rearranged in here. This looks a bit weird because I've put this shelf right up here and now this shelf is kind of pointless, but it was the only way to fit the mouthwash in because as you can see the hole here is like too low for the mouthwash. Um, but this is teeth and then this is like daily skincare and then more skincare, cotton buds. And I'm thinking these little pots, maybe I'll put cotton buds and cotton pads in these um, pots and then face mask and this is like nail clippers. And then this, um, we're gonna get rid of this, um, but I just thought to put somewhere, put it somewhere now. I've put all the first aid stuff on here um, because I'm thinking of getting a cabinet um, to go on the wall here just for first aid. I'm gonna see what Jay thinks of that. Um, but this is like tablets, plasters, antiseptic wipes, things like that. And then I think this will probably change as well, but this is like um, bath bombs and then bath salts and then this is like shaving stuff and in here there is hair and um body care like shower gel and body lotion um but like i said it may change it's just for now this is what i've come up with and i'm really happy with it okay so i've just finished work the sun's about to go down so i just wanted to give you a quick <clears throat> overview of my home and what it looks like now it's been reset so here is the living room it's looking very fresh and clean and tidy um jay put this over here quite recently this is now where we keep like games and stuff um which is really good and yeah 
just looking very that noise from Ira is not helping with the reset aesthetic but yeah it's looking very lovely in here and then through to the dining room um this bedding in the corner is just because we've had our friends staying but apart from that it is lovely in here Aya can you just stop for a minute so I can just film my video thank you brilliant she ignored me um so the bookcase like I said there won't be bottles in there eventually but um started organizing there we'll need to put this on that on um Facebook marketplace and the kitchen obviously as I did it as a separate video darling I'm just trying to do my video um but yeah I've done the kitchen as a separate video but this is what it's looking like it's just nice and clean and tidy so yeah I'm feeling so accomplished and the hallway is looking very clean and tidy we've still got our Christmas doormat because we actually had to get rid of the doormat that wasn't Christmas um we had an autumn one there for ages and yeah don't watch the stairs too closely because obviously they're very stained and yes the bathroom one sec let me just put the light on for you the bathroom has been reset um yeah like i said we're gonna get rid of this shelf and i want to put like a little cabinet up there for first aid but i need to speak to joe about that um i have labeled i've labeled of course these labels are from pretty perfect products and they just make things easier actually mostly for jay because obviously i organize and then he doesn't know where stuff is so we've got bath bombs bath salts shave and then shampoo and conditioner body wash and what's that body lotion so yeah looking very lovely in here and then nice clear hallway <laughs> and my linen shelf is organized this plastic bag just has a bit of rubbish in it can't be absolutely perfect can we and then my bedroom which is looking very fresh and lovely i'm not going to show you in the office yeah i'm not going to show you in the office because that is still a mess and we still haven't done the loft stuff so maybe i'll put that in a separate video or yeah we can just forget about that room um but everything else is perfectly reset and the office is my job this weekend so i'm gonna end this video here i hope you enjoyed resetting my home for 2023 with me the next thing to do is to reset myself so i want to set some like goals for the year and make a vision board and that kind of thing but i definitely feel like my environment has to be reset first for me to be able to like work on myself um so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you enjoyed resetting my home for 2023 i hope it gave you some inspiration or motivation and even if it didn't i hope you just enjoyed watching it for entertainment purposes i love you so much let's have a fabulous year and i will see you in my next video bye